The new gun law is not an inspiring example of bipartisan cooperation to protect public safety. Prohibited persons who are legally disqualified from owning firearms include millions of Americans with no history of violence, such as cannabis consumers, former psychiatric patients who have never been deemed a threat to others, and people convicted of drug crimes or other nonviolent felonies. Thanks to this law, a cannabis consumer could go to prison for up to 15 years if he obtains a gun, even if he lives in a state that has legalized marijuana. That trafficking and firearms penalty also also applies to people who have lost the right to own guns under state law, even when they are not disqualified under federal law. These new penalties will disproportionately harm African Americans. Even the American Civil Liberties Union, which thinks the right to keep and bear arms is a figment of the Supreme Court's imagination, recognizes that the categories of people that federal law currently prohibits from possessing or purchasing a gun are overbroad and not reasonably related to the state's interest in public safety. 